parish and surrounding areas in theatre, music, dance and plays in the Dr. Dublin Hall across the road. We're hoping to join those entertainers by staging a musical all shook up this coming May. Details and auditions will be held in January and there's a launch night on the 17th, the 17th of January across the way at Rafferty's where the full details will be given about the music society and what we hope to do and how, how we hope to achieve. When you start something new, the greatest drive can be encouragement you receive. And I and the committee are so grateful for all the encouragement we've received from the people of Curfield. It, 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 it drives you on. Sometimes you're not sure whether people accept it, but it does drive you on. So continue that encouragement to help me and the committee with the drive to stage the show over the Dr. Ruben Hall. Uh, I wish to thank Reverend Father Mullins for the use of the back room for our committee meetings and of course here in our arts house tonight to let us perform. I would like to thank the hard working committee. They've been week after week, they've been turning up and doing and organising stuff and sometimes they're the ones there for that. So to Laura Connor, Michelle Lawless, Gabriel Carr, Regina Power, Brenda Burke, Rita Conley, Kathy Gallagher, Tom McDonough, and Jerry Curley, thank you very much for all your help. To Teresa Conway, Carla McDonough, and Derek Collins, I'm delighted for all the help you've put in in organising tonight and helping us out. To John McDonough for writing the narrations, and John and Cammy who will be reading them. To the solos here tonight, Alana Power, Michelle Lawless, Aaron Lawless, Shauna Walsh, Kathy Mann, Hannah Gallagher. To the wonderful, and I mean the wonderful church choir, and the extra people that have come along tonight to join them. They've, three weeks ago, this idea came together to revise the car, and they've just committed themselves to it without question or anything. They just came along, so thank you very, very much. To the three schools, Anna Hill, Boundary, and St. Holman School, to these wonderful kids here in front of us, they're a credit, an absolute credit to their parents. We should be so proud of them and to their schools, and thank you. Sorry, then. There was a, a competition held for the logo. We decided we'd get the kids to draw a logo, and the three schools took part in this as in drawing a logo for the music society. And a, a gentleman by the name of Hugh Sweeney, who was called BFM, judged it for us because we felt it needed to be done by an independent adjudicator. And the winner is. Sarah McGowan, she's sixth class in Annandale National School. And that's the wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> well, for the names I failed to mention, and you'll always forget somebody, and sometimes they can be the most important people in the house, I do apologise, it's not meant, and the work you do is so, so important to us. Keep doing it. I'll catch you the next time around. So thank you to those that missed. So finally, I would like to thank Frank Clancy, organist, conductor. I could give him so many titles here. So many, many titles. Three weeks ago, he got involved with this with us. And he's been involved with every single person. And without him, tonight would not, would not happen. Frank, thanks for being So folks, I just want to ask you, sorry, I did forget, Sam here, Sam has done the song for us here tonight, and also I'd like to extend a happy birthday to Sam, it's his birthday tonight. So oh. this is the <laughs> And as well as that, on the logo, there was a prize for a voucher in Smith's Toys, and that was kindly sponsored by Michelle. Perfect, so thank you. So I'll just ask you all now to sit back and enjoy the local talents of Cora Finn as I hand you off to Frank to present the Christmas car service. Thank you. Oh,